वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल ऑल ऑफ यू टूडे इन दिस शॉर्ट वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टेक यू थ्रू दी आई टी बॉम्बे समर इंटर्नशिप प्रोग्राम दिस पर्टिकुलर प्रोग्राम विच इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज दी एकलव्या प्रोजेक्ट इज द ब्रेन चाइल्ड ऑफ डॉक्टर डी वी पाठक हु इज ऑल्सो अ चेयर एट आई टी बॉम्बे दिस इज अ प्रोजेक्ट स्पेसिफिकली फॉर दोज पीपल हु आर एंथ्यूजिक अबाउट ओपन सोर्स टेक्नोलॉजीज एंड इफ यू आर रियली इंटरेस्टेड इन ऑफ ओपन सोर्स टेक्नोलॉजी दिस इज वन ऑफ दो समर इंटर्नशिप दैट यू शुड डेफिनेटली अपलाई फॉर So let's get into the website and see what's the summer internship all about and how do you go about applying for this program. So if you go on to the uh, web page of Ekalavya Summer Internships 2020, which uh, uh, the link for which I've already uh, given to you in this uh, uh, video below in the description, you'll see that the first page uh, very clearly mentions about the program overview. And this particular program, which is there, uh, this uh, program is for people uh, to work on. Uh, mooc education delivery models and uh, open source platforms so that is what this program is all about uh, i would suggest you to go to the page and read and understand what this uh, program is all about uh, if you uh, read this you will also see that uh, this uh, internship happens between may and june and uh, there are about uh, 50 to 100 uh, interns who, who have uh, worked on projects in the previous years now all these uh, internships are uh, guided by the professors who are working in open source technology and this will be a great opportunity for all of you to uh, work with these professors and understand what kind of research and what kind of open open source technologies are these uh, professors working on so the last date for this uh, application is 1st of march 2020 and there are a lot of links out here you can go and see the registration statistics the number of students who have applied so on and so forth so very comprehensive site uh, a lot of information out there you can go and uh, read and understand uh, uh, what is the kind of uh, people who apply for the program as well if you like move on uh, you'll also see that uh, this particular uh, um, a website talks about what kind of internships do you work on and uh, it very very clearly uh, talks about uh, the open source technologies that are uh, being used and it talks about ubuntu and python and mysql so on and so forth so uh, it's a seven weeks project and uh, uh, it's a very very interesting uh, project which may be a project which you're working on which will be taken live during your research internship itself or maybe later on so uh, it's going to be something that's uh, going to be hands on and uh, something that's very relevant in terms of the application that you may be working on now the eligibility for this program is that uh, you need to have completed third year by the time uh, it's april may when you join the internship program students who are in the second year and are from very good or outstanding academic background can also apply to the program now the selection to this program is based on uh, either academics or interest so which means if you are in uh, uh, the graduation second year or third year and you have been doing really well in your graduation you have a good academic uh, uh, background to talk about this program is for you you should definitely apply for it if you are not and you think your academics is just average you can uh, still apply to it provided uh, you will be Uh, asked to write a examination so if you see here it's very clearly mentioned here it says shortlisted candidate will also take a mandatory written online programming test in c you can use your email to register at www.cordzilla.org where you can practice problems and this site was developed for uh, by four members of the 2015 internship team so uh, if you have an outstanding background you can get in or if you crack this exam then also you can get in so which means all of you who have good background in terms of your academics or who have an average background but can do really well in this test and prove that you are good at uh, uh, coding uh, can also get into and uh, work on these projects now the selection will be finally uh, 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 let out by the 13th of march 2020 and uh, this program as i said before is a 7 weeks program now what all are required to be filled up uh, uh, when you apply for this program first and foremost there is a circular form which has to be signed by the hod principal or director of your institute so which means if i check uh, click on this i can see what form this is and it's a pretty simple form it uh, talks about uh, uh, your name your mobile number and so on and so forth and it just um, 
it's kind of a permission that you're getting from the college saying that you know you are uh, they are okay with you applying to this program there's a like a recommendation letter which is required from your hod or the principal permitting you to go for this uh, internship and second a short letter uh, i don't think any of you should be having a problem getting any of these things uh, done from your college now uh, if you look at this uh, website you will also see that there is a lot of information out here and if you click uh, on the apply now button it takes you uh, specifically to the form and in that form you can see that you can apply if you are a computer science engineering student or an information technology student or you are from the electrical or the electronics background so it's basically for three uh, major background computer science electrical and electronics information technology anyway comes under uh, the computer science uh, branch and uh, if you go ahead you will also see uh, at the bottom uh, of one of the uh, areas of the form that what is the size of the long longest program you have written so far so it gives you an idea as to how much importance does this particular internship put on your coding skills so if you are a really good coder and you really like to do programming this internship is definitely for you also it, uh, in the last part of your uh, form it also asks you about your proficiency of uh, in algorithm development and programming uh, it also talks to you uh, it also uh, collects information regarding your familiarity with linux uh, and uh, the operating system of uh, linux right so uh, this is pretty much a focused kind of a internship program uh, there are uh, six areas uh, while you're filling this form you have to fill up your academic area you have to fill up your software hardware proficiency uh, your work schedule and your college details and finally a declaration and as you can see here it is very clearly mentioned 18th may to 7th july is the duration of the program that's seven weeks but if you have an exam or you may have uh, some kind of a problem because the college uh, examination semester examination or project is due you can still apply to the program provided you can put a different period here and this period has to be for definitely six weeks between this time period of 18th may to 7th july now uh, if you go back to this uh, home page you will also see that there is a lot of links out here about uh, the enrolled students and the students who have registered for 2020 and you can go and see the list of students who are there and you can see there are colleges like SRM University, Valor Institute of Technology, you have colleges like uh, a lot of NITs so a lot of different colleges from, from where people have applied you can also go and check out as to uh, last year and the year before uh, when people had applied and enrolled for this program what kind of people have enrolled for the program and from which college students were selected now you need to apply for this before sunday 1st of march 2020 and there will be no uh, extension of this deadline to make sure that you apply for this this is not a stipendary program uh, in fact uh, 10,000 rupees needs to be paid to iit bombay for connecting this program which will be paid by ekalavia project uh, but the student has to take care of the hostel rent which is about 6,000 you will also be asked to pay a 2,000 rupee security deposit which will be returned to you but you can still pay that 6,000 and stay in the hostel and then also uh, use the mess uh, for which you will have to pay 150 rupees per day so uh, this is the uh, final uh, list of the dates important dates 13th March is when you will get to know whether you have been selected or not and the last date for application is 7th uh, or is uh, uh, 1st of March and uh, you have to do the internship between 18th of May and the 7th of July. So this internship is for all of you who are looking forward to a fantastic internship under the guidance of IIT professor and who are really really interested in uh, uh, programming languages and especially the open source technology. So if you have any other queries regarding this program you can uh, contact summer internship at csc.iitb.ac.in and uh, don't forget to apply because uh, this is an extremely good project and the feedback from the students who have done this project are excellent and uh, this is one of those projects that you should look forward to and one of those summer internships that you should be uh, desirous of doing if you are really interested in getting into uh, open source technology. So thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, please do subscribe my channel and we'll be back with more such internships in the future. All the best for your internship.